This is uh, one of the epiphanies I had as uh, um, when I started out on my own. I'd been in practice for 15 years and uh, was very lucky to start out my own uh, practice, but measured everything by uh, billable hours, how productive I had been. Um, I was encouraged to keep some other metrics, uh, metrics with respect to how much time I spent on administrative work, IT, secretarial, marketing. And once I had a sense as to how much of my energy was spent on those activities, I had a sense not just of who I needed to hire, but, um, but when. When those activities had become so large that they really encapsulated another part-time or full-time position. My name is Mark Goldstein. I'm the president of the Goldstein Law Group. I'm an attorney. I've been practicing for about 20 years, and I also run my own law firm. I was here today taking part in the first ever uh, Business School for Lawyers. Uh, this was a two-day event. Um, this was the second day, and it was really trying to build up with, uh, with uh, members of the State Bar a sense of business skills, a sense of how to approach their practice with a business hat on as opposed to the legal hat. We gave two presentations. The first one, um, I spoke about uh, um, human resources and how we approach human resources in a law firm environment. Um, two aspects of that. One is starting out as a solo practitioner and thinking about what it is to have employees and how we think about when to hire, how to hire, um, uh, who to hire. Uh, and then the second is once you have your team in place, how you manage that team. It starts with understanding um, the role, right? Uh, who am I trying to bring in? Uh, what duties am I asking of them? And then there's a whole bunch of things that, that go around, um, not, just as, as, not just as it's part-time or full-time, but also what type of, type of person would succeed in this role. Um, what I mean is not only their skill set, but also their approach to a practice, how they would fit in a small firm environment, whether they're um, self-directed, whether they need a lot of management, uh, what their computer skills are, what their um, personality profile is like. As attorneys, we're kind of expected to know all this, and so um, it, it's important to, to ask the question and be sure we're doing it right. There are a lot of folks who make mistakes. They call people independent contractors because they think they are truly independent. They call them exempt employees because they're being paid salary. Um, those things are much more complicated, as we know as attorneys, than, uh, than, than may meet the eye. So there are three systems that come to mind. One is a system around onboarding. How do we bring people on board? How do we tell them, this is how we operate here, these are the rules of the game, here are the forms you have to fill out, the W-4, the I-9, uh, confidentiality agreements, and so on. Um, onboarding is one of them. The second thing relates to um, the handbook, which is really a larger sense of the rules of the game. How do we handle vacation? How do we handle um, uh, issues that may come up in the workplace, whether they be issues of um, uh, discipline or is issues of discontent? Um, that's the second aspect. And then the third aspect is building a whole range of systems around the workplace such that uh, no one person, just by their own know-how, is the master of the universe for any particular area. Uh, so what I talked about today and uh, what I advocate is uh, some kind of office manual that says, you know, in this office, this is how we handle billing. And what this means is, is that uh, someone, of course, is in charge of billing and knows billing better than others. But if that job becomes bigger than one person, we have a way to bring other people into the process. The second thing is, if that person gets promoted or moves on, we're not uh, stuck with uh, only one person having had all that knowledge in their head and uh, not having uh, the ability to convey it to others. And then maybe the last piece is uh, how we structure conversations throughout the week, throughout the year, such that um, our team members are talking to one another, um, whether it be about billing, whether it be about uh, uh, client matters, and so on, so that um, there's a sense of uh, camaraderie, there's a sense of culture where people can say this truly is a, a good place to work. At the uh, Solo and Small Firm Conference, uh, I'll be uh, spending uh, one session talking about the legal requirements um, to, uh, um, to setting up your, your, your workplace and from an HR standpoint. We'll talk a little bit about the I-9, we'll talk about the W-4, we'll talk about uh, the employee handbook and some of those things that come into the onboarding process. And then I'll be part of a panel where we talk about, uh, in a larger sense, who we hire, how we hire, and how we manage a staff.